Uh, spawning at the bottom right in the red, he is representing the Shopify Rebellion. Bjorn. And his opponent in the upper left in the blue for Team Envy. The one, the only, DRG. Yeah, actually, um, it's funny, Kodale, in terms of overall size, Beckett may be slightly larger, but in terms of how it feels, in terms of the um, the rush distances, Beckett is actually smaller than Submarine was. It is uh, a 28-second rush distance between uh, the natural of one player to the natural of the other player on Beckett. Meanwhile, it's I think it was 30, 31 seconds on Submarine. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Terran 3 base push on that is insane. There are so many really good tank uh, siege up positions too. So, we saw Innovation versus DRG on that map yesterday because Innovation, of course, in uh, the World Team League, the loser picks. And DRG did win game number one. And I don't believe there is any sort of map veto you can go for. Oh, wow. Beyond you greedy boy. He goes reactor first into a uh, into a command center. And man, if DRG went 12 pool here, Beyond would just be dead, right? There is just nothing that would be able to prevent that from happening. But this does appear that he would probably go for a 2 on 1 behind that. Anyway, yeah, so Beckett, we, we did see that game number two. We saw uh, DRG took the linear fourth uh, from the bottom side. So he kind of took one of those no man's land uh, bases that, that do exist. The kind of the, the upper left base on that line and the bottom right base that, that form that middle diagonal on Beckett are pretty much no man's land. They're too close to, they're very close to where the opponent will eventually expand. So it becomes problematic. But, oh, this isn't going to be a two on one. Interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, so with that, well, uh, do, uh, innovation just found that there's a siege uh, outside of that base. There's a uh, there's a destructible rocks position. So innovation just went. He put it two tanks behind that rock line that were able to shell away at the base. Dropped his marines on the other side and said, "Ah, have fun." Uh, okay. Beyond <laughs> lifting instead of starting the orbital. Oh no, Beyond, don't do it. But uh, yeah, we have a, it's a one 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 opener coming up here for Beyond. And is this Hellion Banshee? Hmm. This was a very fast reactor, and that's kind of what's throwing me for a little bit. Now, we will see, of course, Hellions. Oh, wait, no, this is going to be a Marine Banshee Hellbat timing, I think. Because we will see the uh, the factory trade places with the, with, the, um, with the barracks there. And we will, of course, also see... Yeah, there we go. Banshees are on the way. So this is Marine Hellbat Banshee. This is going to be very all-in coming from Bion here. Yeah, he did take a uh, CC. It's not a CC first, but he did get that reactor first. He was as greedy as possible with that, and that will allow him to have a decent amount of Marines for this ensuing push. I do think he's just going to go fully all in here. So this may, this timing hits around 445, if I was to guess. Hey, uh, Tiger up. Uh, please, buy I don't know whether you're played today, but please, uh, no GSL spoilers um, for the moment. As, uh, I have not had a chance. Well, unless you're talking about the round of 16. I don't really remember all the games in the round of 16. Um, I haven't been able to catch the GSL games today because uh, I woke up at round 8 to broadcast this series, which, of course, started at 9, but I did not wake up at 5. So there we go. Armory is on the way. We have Cloak just about done. And this is one of the scariest Hellbat timings that I have seen in quite a while. Now, if, if DRG holds it, all roses, but it's going to be a very difficult hold indeed. We have seven queens. We do not, of course, have a baling nest, and this is one of those builds you need a ba you need an early baling nest to hold. Now, of course, we do have. Uh, it's going to be nice. We do have four spores on the way, so the banshees aren't going to be all that impactful. But what is this? There are ten marines on the map. There will be six hellbats and a banshee. So yeah, a second banshee too. So this is going to be rather problematic. Now we will have the queens able to get some damage done on things rather quickly. One Hellbat goes down immediately, and that is, well, now it goes down. That is one of the caveats of this push here from uh, Bion, as, well, he doesn't have any medevacs. He doesn't have any longevity in this push, and losing one of the Banshees and losing one of the Hellbats immediately, well, that doesn't feel very good. That does give DRG more time to make things happen here. Does give him more time to get the splits up and bring more queens to the front, and we are seeing many Hellbats get really targeted down here. So, yeah, the, the Banshee is doing something. The Banshee is doing some sort of work. 
And we are seeing some overlords start to die, but we do almost have the overseer done. Banshee, oh, it's on hold position. The Banshee's just going to go down. Pion, what are you doing? Meanwhile, of course, this Zergling run by, it's actually not killing any SCVs, but what it is doing is forcing the entire army back and knocking down the wall. Ah, thank you, uh, Bitterwood. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I've I've been casting a lot, casting and watching a lot of StarCraft recently. It's hard to keep it all straight. But now, yeah, DRG off of this hold, which on it. I mean, that build from Beyond looks scary, but Queens. And I, I I don't know. Maybe he didn't commit hard enough, or uh, I don't know. I, I feel like Beyond had some really good opportunities opportunities there. He opened almost as greedy as possible for the build that he's going for, unpunished, and then he just doesn't get anything done with the build. So, I don't know. I feel like that could have gotten a whole lot more done. Uh, it did not, though. And uh, now, dear G, he is free to take his fourth base. He is free to drone up to all hell. A spire on the way. Baneling Nest on the way. And we're going to have a fairly large uh, first flock of mutas here. It will be just about 12, I think. Uh, actually, no, not with the Baneling Nest. So it's just going to be 10, or with Baneling Speed. So, we're going to see 10 mutas on the way. Now, the one thing I would like to see here from DRG is he does not have it yet, I don't believe. Uh, I would like to see Evo Shamers get started, because, sure... They're going to be a, while's off, a, a while off yet, but I mean, DRG certainly has the minerals for it. And uh, more importantly, I don't want it to be this kind of situation where we do see Evo Chambers get started as plus one is done. Although, there is a world... Hmm, there are some like Ling Bane Muta all-ins that we do see Zerg players do on occasion. We saw Rainer do it uh, on Blackburn against Clem. In ESL Open Cup number 66, it did not work, but uh, that really felt like it was more Rainer's execution than anything else. That and Clum just kind of had the hard, the hard counter with the 2-1-1. But now beyond his push is getting started, as we have a lot of mutas going up. This is going to be 14 mutas. Going to be a rather nice uh, thing to hold, and we will have to see some Banelings on the way. DRG has to gas for four Banelings right now. We're going to have to see maybe a couple more. And Zergling is going to come running on in here, getting on top of the tanks rather quickly. Uh, Marines as well. Mutas are going to just going to take this fight, and this is all just going to die. It's all coming up roses for DRG once again. I mean, yeah, he loses some creep. Yeah, some queens take some damage, but it, that's not important. <laughs> um, as now the Hellions are going to come forward. Hellions do not shoot up, and well. Beyond, he's going to be swept from the face of the map at this point. Now, he does have 2-2 on the way, and we don't have an Evo. Oh, no, actually, we do. Never mind. We have 1-1 one, one on the way here. So, this is going to be one of the larger upgrade uh, gaps that I've seen in the in, uh, in games like this. But DRG does have four bases. He has 25 workers on, on that fourth base. He does need to start mining gas from it. Oh, he's going to lose a lot of them. He's going to get very decently supply blocked here, too, because we don't have a lot of Banley, so... This army, well, it's going to be Ling Bane Queen. Uh, Ling Bane Queen Muta is going to be the hold of the day here, at least until the, the Banelings do show on up, which are not here yet, but there's only one tank, so that's not all that scary. Now the Banelings are here. We're seeing more morph on in. But uh, DRG, I mean, he's going to have what, plus one finishing around this time, plus two is finishing. And normally with these styles, you do see about half an upgrade window of parity before it does uh, imbalance in the way of the Terran player once again. That's just never going to happen. In this game. That being said, though, this run by has a lot of potential. This, uh, okay, never mind. That's not a base. It's just a supply depot. That will get taken down. And, well, the third base, I would like to see our DRG, our DRG do some damage with that, but now he will not be able to do anything with that. Okay. DRG's creep spread, not quite as good as it once was. As, uh, Beyond has done a pretty good job of killing it off, but of course, now Beyond backing up here to deal with the run by does give DRG license to go and uh, to expand once again. As of course, this is Mutaling Bane. We're not going to see Lurkers anytime soon. We're not going to see Hive anytime soon, even as DRG is on almost 100, uh, 100 workers. And that actually kind of is the tell that we're not going to see Hive very soon. It's just going to be a lot of stuff here. As look at that, again with the save, but double medevac. So 16 SCVs will be kept alive here, even as five do go on down. Very cool move there from the former world champion. But now 1-1 one, one is... Oh, actually, we will have a brief period of upgrade timing. Okay, so 1-1 one, one is just about done here. Mutas will find this mineral line. Bailey's going to get siphoned off just a little bit, but beyond is he paying attention? Not really. So tanks are going to siege on up here, and, uh, well, they're they're going to get something. So the Mutas will be forced on back here, but the Bailey's are just attacking, crashing on into everything. That's not going to be enough. GG, DRG. Well, he's going to smash. And here we are spawning in the upper right. In the red, representing the Red Bull, or excuse me, the Shopify Rebellion. He is Bion.
And his opponent in the bottom right in the blue for Team NV, DRG. Yeah, actually, it's kind of funny. Funny you talk about him watching a lot of uh, Sarah Rayner games. Um, DRG's portrait, at least on his Korean account, is uh, is Sarah's world champion portrait. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Sarah Rayner, or excuse me, DRG is one of the. Uh, yeah, he really does take a lot, a lot of cues from the way Cyril and Rayner do play, but he iterates on it. And uh, I, no, I, I, I disagree with what you have to say there, Pewie. Um, I don't want to say that. We'll stop debating for a second. We have a two racks coming on and Byun trying to get aggressive here. And I do, this is a fantastic two racks position. Uh, by the way, of course, this is not going to get canceled outside of some real bad SDV RNG. And, but hey, we will have, of course, the uh, the the drones will find this immediately. And well, SCVs are going to try to do what they can. And uh, look at this though. Yeah, we have the position there where Marine can find its way behind it. Oh, it gets out too. So that's really nice. One Marine out. And we do, have, of course, have the SCB buffering. We're going to get our second and third Marine as well. And yeah, nothing's died yet. We don't have a bunker on the way yet. But we're going to have four or five Marines. And well, dear G certainly lost a lot of mining time. And, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, well, yeah, once this game does stabilize a little bit, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more. As now, Beyond will go on back here, and now with the, the drones, looks like they, they will get the full surround, but how? the question really is how many drones do go on down. We have five going down, six, probably a seventh? No, barely not. But the bunker is not going to go up. Okay, yeah, this bunker doesn't have hope. But, hey, seven workers and maybe a couple zerglings going on down here. That's always going to be nice there for Beyond, and that probably does make it worth it here, as uh, we, the Micro will go on back. And two Marines, three Marines will find their way, their way into this little pocket. So yeah, these Marine, these uh, Zerglings will not really take a good fight here. Actually, you know what, this is kind of an overcommitment here for DRG. I mean, yeah, he will be able to kill this off eventually. Boy, well, another Marine does pop on out, and it's going to really trade trade well for himself. So this is very much an overcommitment here for DRG. And Beyond, I like this, he just keeps building Marines. He says, you know what, I, I see what's happening. Um... No, that's not gonna not gonna happen. But as this game does balance out just a little bit, all right, DRG beyond equal on workers and uh, everything else. I disagree with uh, what you're saying. I do not. Solar has good ZBT to be sure. I don't believe it is better than DRG's. Um, having actually cast a lot of solar ZBT recently, and uh, Rogue and Dark. I mean, sure they're good, but. I don't know. I would uh, I would favor DRG against Innovation, for example. Um, I don't know. 10 out of 10 times. Uh, 9 out of 10 times in a Best of X series. I do believe DRG will be able to make that happen. But uh, I don't know if I'd say the same thing about Rogue. Um, or Ro Dark, I should say. Rogue, maybe. maybe. Maybe it's top 4. But, I mean, Dark did lose, I believe, to Innovation in the GSL group, uh, in round of 16 Group C. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I think it's a lot. It's a lot more even. Uh, I again, I, I DRG to me just seems really clean in the matchup. He does such a good job of flowing around the map in a way that I don't see other Zerg players do. I mean, yes, Sarah Rayner, sure, they're on another level. They are really above reproach. But we look at the other players here. Is uh, this? Uh, well, okay, the Overlord. Nah, that's that's gonna stay alive. Um, the way DRG, DRG flows around the map, the way he is able to bend and not break. Yeah, <laughs> Solar has absolutely. Man, I thought I I was thinking that Solar had beaten Mario in a ZBT. Um, after uh, after uh, I am get of it, but that that was not the case. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, Maru bopped uh, Solar yesterday, and I uh, I pulled up a Legolak and like it's just. Uh, Solo and Maru, their their career win rates are pretty similar against each other, and that when that does happen, we have a Hellion drop coming on in. This is not going to work for Beyond. Now, where do we stand right now, though? Uh, as we as we sit, get on into the actual game, we do have Nat Beyond by the well, excuse me, Beyond finally does have his natural on the way, and he's a Liberator on the way too. So it looks like we're just going to see some enhanced aggression here from Beyond as he tries to see what he can get done. At the moment, it's not a lot, but you know we shall see, and. Uh, Pyun did kill six workers. So if we look at total resources lost here, Pyun just a little bit ahead. 
But uh, I think he's happy because, of course, he killed six workers. He lost nine marines, but whatever. And um, that has done a very good job of curtailing the economy here of DRG, especially considering, what was that, uh, eight Zerglings? So that's an additional four drones that were not drones. Larva that, that could have been drones that were taken down. So if we look at income here for a bit, Bion has had a fairly significant income lead over the majority of this game, even, even as DRG does have that 9, 10 worker lead. So behind this, of course, Liberator actually is getting some good damage on the third base. Now the Hellions are going to try to dive on in. But once again, actually Hellion will die. But yeah, there are too many Zerglings here. This drop doesn't really work. And Bion, he does have his third base on the way. But Stim is on the way as well. So Bion will have a rather powerful timing even before his uh, third base is done. If he wants to make use of it, kind of play like a TVP style here. As now Bion just being so active with this Liberator. And he will be able to not kill the Queen. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Not having enough shots. But hey, four more workers do go on down here. And now Beyond with the push. Stim is just about done. He has tanks. Does he have... How many medivacs does he have? Oh, he has one. Okay, that, that yeah, that medivac's on the left-hand side. We will see... Are these going to be hellbats? Do we have an armory? No armory just yet, but... Stim, tanks, couple of, a couple of hellions. And uh, this is actually a kind of scary force here for... Uh, DRG to deal with, especially considering all of his army is on the other side of the map, and look at this. DRG is going for a Banley bust here in this game number two, and I'm not sure how much I like that, to be totally honest. There's a tank in the wall, and, well, he does have to make sure that he defends this base. I mean, now the queens are here, and uh, they are going to fire strong. They're going to do what they can to knock this medevac down, especially with the spores here. It is very difficult for DRG to really, or excuse me, for Beyond to really push on into this, but with Marines... Oh, no! Beyond the tanks are leaving, and now we have the bust. Okay, you, you gotta put the Banelings on into that. You gotta put the Banelings on into that DRG, but there we go. Okay, the tank will target it down. That's gonna knock the wall down, but that could have been so much better for DRG. That really could have been much better. But unfortunately, he had his Banelings caught behind the, uh, the Zerglings. And now, well, it's a lot of Queens that are gonna try to make this hold, but... Well, not a lot of Banelings. And uh, Baneling speed is not anywhere near being done here. Now, DRG does have just about... He has 60, uh, 60 workers, which is not incredible, but it's not terrible in the context of, the, of this game in particular, as he's building more and more Zerg, and he's trying to make this hold happen. Now, he doesn't have upgrades. He will not have upgrades for quite a while. I don't even know if he has an Evo. He does not, so it's just going to be pure Ling Bane, but he does have Bane Ling speed, so that is a uh, the saving grace from his Aspire is getting started really late. That being said, though, of course, Beyond only on two bases. His third base is on the way now. But he has a really strong push on in here. Of course, there are a lot of queens, so that's a little bit difficult to go on into. And now we have the surround. DRG, has he waited long enough here? Bailing's going to look to come crashing on in. One tank's going to get found. One tank's going to get taken down here. Second one actually taken down by the queens and the Bailings. But the bio does survive here. And that just means two more queens will get taken on down. But Bion, for the moment, will be pushed back. That being said, though, the rest of his rally is coming on in. And we will have 1-1 one, one rather soon. A bunch of overlords will die as well. Not that it does supply block DRG. G here, but of course, DRG at this point, he is in a better spot to hold. He does have more Banelings on the way. He has a lot. He's just been continuously producing Queens three at a time. He's on 12 Queens at this point, which is insane. That is a lot of Queens, but now the bio is going to come on in, stemming forward. Beyond doesn't want to take the fight quite yet. Uh, he has 10 seconds until he does have 1-1, one, one. but when he does, when he does, that's going to be a terrifying force indeed, as DRG once again setting up for a massive, honestly, I don't even mind a run by there. But setting up for a massive surround. Coming on in. Zerglings from the left. Zerglings from the right. Zerglings from the left and right are going to surround this entire army. And Bion will be forced to pick on up once again. These tanks will be forced back. And this is actually such a cool style here from DRG. I mean, he has 15 queens. Right? He says, okay, look, you know, honestly, Bion, your army is terrifying to be sure. But you just won't have the DPS to punch through all my queens before my Ling Bane really comes to the, comes to the fore. So DRG, well, that does mean he's going to have some insane creep spread. And well, oh, that being said, though, behind this, Beyond up on 71 workers. DRG only on three bases. So as good as this hold has looked for DRG, and if he's able to make something of this, if he's able to make something of his supply lead, then maybe we're gonna then we're gonna see uh, DRG be a little bit happier. But his fourth base only just now getting started. He's not gonna have upgrades in this game. I mean, Evo Chamber starting now, sure, but it's two two on the way. 1-1's one, not even started, right? So we're going to have Beyond with 2-2 two, two before DRG even has plus 1. But he does have a... He does have a... Well, not no longer supply lead, but certainly supply parity. 
And Ling Bane is one of the most cost-effective, of course, compositions on creep. So, or supply effective, I should say, is uh, now the meters will find the mineral line here and start equalizing the worker count just a little bit. It was at 71, but now, well, DRG is getting good damage with these mutas. Now, surprisingly enough, despite everything, despite the fact that DRG is on 16 queens, the creep spread is not all that inspiring. In part, this is because of Beyond, uh, Beyond's incredible aggression, but I think also because a lot of the energy has been spent, again, because of that aggression, on uh, keeping these queens alive, on, on the transfuses. And with that being the case, well, it's kind of hard to spread creep. So now the bio is going to stim on forward here. Tanks sieging on up. And that's a full wall of tanks, by the way. That is very difficult for the Zerglings and the Manlings to really get their way around. So now the third base is going to come under fire. So many of these queens are going down. Yeah, queens are beefy early. But once you're down on upgrades, it's, it's not nearly as good. So we had 15 queens, 16 queens, now we have 9. 7 queens just died. And uh, that, that doesn't feel all that great here. So now the, the Lings, the Banelings, they're going to come on forward here. It's a bit of a force field as so many Banelings are going to get targeted down. Byun with the reinforcements pouring on in. Do we have any Banelings left on the map? We have 4. 4 is not enough to make this fight. Yeah, maybe if Byun doesn't split, but he is Byun. He's just going to target it all down. GG, Byun is going to take us to game 3. Spawning in the bottom right in the red. Taking game number 2 with Style. With pizzazz, with a Shopify Rebellion. Beyond. And his opponent in the upper left, in the blue for Team NV, hoping to hold a two racks a little bit better than he did in game number one. He is DRG. It does have that nasty uh, slow zone siege tank position, but that's not that doesn't really threaten any main base. Ooh, never mind. This is not a two rex. This is a four rex. Okay, so Byun going hella all in here in this game number three. He saw the two rex work, so he said, "Okay, what if I build a t two additional barracks?" Because of course the math says that uh, what you do, right? If you're doing three rex, actually, well, this could be uh, two rex. This, this could be three rex. This could be four rex. Um. We're going to have to see exactly what Bion does do, but look at this. Oh, DRG is not going to see it. Barely he's going to miss it. And uh, this is perhaps even more problematic than not trying to scout in the first place. Because when you scout and you miss, you're a little bit more, you feel safe. You feel a little bit more safe. You feel like, ah, there's, nothing's going to hurt me here. As, oh god, yeah, this is going to be it. Never mind. Uh, DRG will see the SCV coming in from a really weird angle, and this should be everything he needs to let him know what's happening here. So two SCVs are going to go forward. We will see some bunkers on the way. Drones, of course, have to be pulled for this, but DRG hasn't pulled drones yet. I guess he didn't see the SCV from the weird angle is uh, what we're looking at here. So it's only three racks. It's not four racks, but bunkers are already on the way. DRG, now he will scout this, and he's going to say, okay, look, it's a... Uh, that's actually interesting. Zerglings are on the way, of course. Queens as, as well. He's not even trying to hold his... I mean, he will have Zerglings out. But okay, he's not even going to try to hold his natural. He's just going to go for a Ravager push behind this. And I I like that against a 2-Rax. I don't know how I like it against a 3-Rax. And right, now we have the bunkers on the way, of course. And we will probably see a third one on the way as well. As beyond just piling the aggression on up in here. So Roaches will be done soon. The third base will, or the, excuse me, the natural will die. That's not a question. Really, what we're looking at here is whether Deerji will be able to punch back hard enough to make this sacrifice worthwhile. And I, I mean, honestly, it feels like uh, any proxy barracks uh, builds kind of, I, I'm not going to say it's an auto win because it is down to execution, but it is, of course, very hard for the Zerg player if they, they don't scat, if they don't see it. Alright, so now with these two bunkers here, and we have a supply deep on the way, so we're getting a full wall off. And beyond behind this, he has his factory on the way. So, the roaches have been scattered here, and, uh, well, the marines are just gonna go on forward, knock down one of these roaches immediately. Oh, they're gonna get a cocoon? No, they won't. Okay, so not a lot of marines as of yet, but roaches going low here, queens getting low as well, so... Honestly, Bjorn, uh, he's doing a really good job of making sure that he does not lose his bunker. That being said, though, we will have some repairs, but there are SCVs to repair that. And there are not a lot of Ravagers. So right now, DRG, he's trapped on into his main base. He's building more Roaches, sure, but, uh, I mean, he's building more Ravagers. Absolutely. 
But beyond at this point, this is a contain. He's, he doesn't need to... He does not need to kill the main base. He doesn't need to find his way on into the main base here. He's just going to keep repairing this bunker until, uh, well, there's just too many virtues, too many ravagers. And then he's just going to try to take as good of a fight as possible. Meanwhile, of course, he does have a bunker on the other side of the map. And this is going to be a bust here from DRG. We will see the Ravager Miles go on down here. One bunker goes down. Second bunker is going to get salvaged. So beyond, he's even going to get some money back from that. And yeah, some of these Marines will die. But that is a sacrifice that Bion is willing to make. That being said, though, this is, this push is going to be rather scary here for uh, DRG as he does look to move across the map. Bion have, does have one Cyclone on the way, and he will have a full wall as his bunker on the natural. Well, it's not going to... It's just going to l delay things just a little bit. Now, the, the really big thing here, by the way, uh, I didn't really comment on it at the time, but the, over, uh, the Overlord was killed. The thing that was going to give DRG maybe some high ground vision to be able to actually make this, this uh, def attack happen, well... It's dead, so it's going to be much harder for uh, DRG to really find his way on up under the high ground here. And with this bunker and the cyclone, we're going to see some nice lock-ons on top of Ravagers. Each lock-on is one. Okay, DRG looks like he uh, he denied this. <laughs> he denied the uh, Ravager. Of course, this is not a MOBA. This is not Dota. This is uh, you don't want to deny your own units. It doesn't really work out that way. So now, of course, we do have the uh, well. DRG will find his way on into the main base, but with the SCV pull. And the bunker here, actually nice repairs, we will keep both of these supply depots alive. And this cyclone just getting so much damage. Okay, come on, kill, keep killing things. With the cyclone getting as much damage as it is, I mean, this is just really good here for Bjorn. He's up on workers, he's up on tech. He's up on a base, notionally. I mean, yeah, there's second natural's just about done, but Bjorn's going to be able to take his orbital. Hello, Luzietto. Luzietto. And yeah, that cyclone is absolutely a chad. Oh, Luziesto, sorry. Uh, I can't read. So, Bion, Stim is on the way, tanks are on the way here, and realistically, there's a very scary timing that Bion can look to hit. Is this one Cyclone? <laughs> it has five kills. I don't know what it's trying to go assassinate, but it's, it's going on a mission. It's, uh, and it's on a creep killing mission. It, it, will, it will give its life for the cause here. I, I don't know about that one, Bion. Don't know what you're trying to achieve there, but uh, you know what? It's going to work out. <laughs> anyway, now Beyond does have his natural done. Stim is on the way. We He does have three barracks production behind that, so he will be able to hit a very powerful timing in uh, just about a minute, maybe, maybe two minutes. It's kind of hard to tell, or it's kind of hard to judge timings uh, when that are the result of proxy barrack shenanigans because, uh, of course, all the timings are off. Yeah, was that, um... Huh, that, that, that is a very powerful cyclone indeed. Alright, but hey, you know what? Oh, okay. Viking will be kept alive here. I kind of like selling out for that, but... Anyway, uh, Bjorn places more value on his Vikings than he does on his cyclones. So what I'm what I'm trying to figure out here is what is D, uh, what is DRG going to do to try to worm his way out of the tricky situation that he's in? Because make no mistake about it, the supplies are equal, sure, but uh, that's just because DRG has a little bit more workers and a lot of his supply is in Roach Ravager. Right, the the one Roach and the four Ravagers are actually um, what 14 totals. Uh, yeah, there's like 14 supply. Uh, so <laughs> that being the case, I mean that's it's, the army is not big and it. Bion is doubling the army supply of DRG at this point. We don't have any roaches on the way. 1-1 one, one is going to be on the way here. Is DRG just desperately trying to play as greedy as possible in the hope that Bion's not about to go kill him right now. But uh, DRG, I got some bad news for you, bud. Bion is not a merciful man. And he will sim on in here onto the third base. This third base, I, I don't see. I don't know how uh, DRG hopes to hold it here. The tanks sieging on up. And yeah, there are four Ravagers, sure, but... It's four Ravagers, right? Now, the one the one upside here is uh, Deirdre or Bion does not have combat shields as of yet. So his bio is not quite as tanky. He doesn't have really any upgrades. They're getting started now, but doesn't really have any upgrades as of yet. So the Queens and the, the Ravagers for the moment can take this fight. But as the, well, Bio's going to stem on in as the beef does keep building while the third base will go on down. As DRG, he has an infestation pit on the way. He has a Hydra Dent done. 
He's going for like two beast lurker. I'm like, what in the world? I'm not really sure, but anyway, yeah, Beyond's just going to stem on top of this. This is DRG hoping against hope that maybe something's going to happen, but it's not. It's not going to work whatsoever here. Beyond going to stem on top of things. The bio, or excuse me, the roaches are going to keep dying here. The ravagers are going to keep dying. And as long as the ravagers die, that's all that matters. GG, Beyond, he's going to advance in first place.